The first motherless baby's home in Nigeria is 60 years old, and the Nigerian Red Cross Society is soliciting support from the government and other stakeholders to promote their humanitarian services. The organization, which is also celebrating its 161st World Red Cross Day, also pledged commitment to save lives and raise awareness on health-related issues among communities across the country. Zaina Bakonde has details. It has been decades of saving humanity and saving lives for the Red Cross Society. For the Nigerian Red Cross Society in Lagos State, increasing and improving selflessness in communities has to continue to make it better. The theme of this year's World Red Cross Day is keeping humanity alive as the organization reflects on its countless achievements and the need for stakeholders to support its humanitarian efforts. Our gathering today is not only to celebrate our teaming volunteers, but aimed at raising consciousness among people, among the government, among organizations, to support the work of the Nigerian Red Cross by making donations, volunteering, and promoting the initiatives which allow this vital work to be carried on. The organization wheels out some of its intended humanitarian projects and needs to facilitate growth. We need vehicles. We, as I speak, we don't have vehicles that are workable that can even reach the Sasa Styles now. So we need ambulances. They know we are, stop, we are supporting them. They know we are collaborators. So I'm begging the governor and his team to please come to our aid. The society also announced the 60 years celebration of its motherless baby's home, which is the first in Nigeria that catered to abandoned children during the civil war and is still in existence till date. We are, we're trying to reorganize the home, we are trying, trying to rehabilitate the home, we are trying to renovate places and get more facilities. We are looking at having like libraries for them, recreation places, sports places, just like a state-of-the-art place for a, a, any abandoned child. We are looking forward to people to support us and to see what we are doing as core humanitarian projects. This gathering underscores the commitment of the organization to uphold human dignity through steadfastness and resilience. Zainab Akonde, TVC News, Lagos.